Hi, this is Sam, and this is going to be a tutorial video on how to make the wire dragonfly. So, for those of you who are watch, those of you watching at home, I'm showing you the different supplies that I'm going to be using in the video, as well as some supplies you can use at home. Unfortunately, we don't have enough of these tools to just pass out to everyone for the take and make kits. We do have the option though, if you want to check them out from the tech to go collection, you just need a DML orientation, which we can go through that the day that you want to check them out. Because I'm, I have a pair of wire cutters here. If you don't have a pair of wire cutter, cutters at home, you can use a pair of scissors. This wire is just aluminum, so it's very light wire. And I'll show you just to cut it. There's no effort at all. So it's a very easy wire to work with. It's it's malleable and it's really easy to cut. So that's an option. You can use scissors at home. Now in the video you will see me use these these particular wi wire round nose pliers. But we're I'm going to be using the tool uh, this tool to like curl the wire used for decoration. Um, an option for that would be a pair of tweezers. You can use the tweezers to curl it or the tweezers to also pinch the wire close. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you have a pair of tweezers at home, this might also help out with this project. You definitely need a ruler. There are a few places where you will need to measure out your wire. And finally, the wire. So I have six different colors. So when you come to pick up your kit, um, really you're just picking up a different color wire. So let me know what you want. Wire you want. I have pink, uh, like an aqua, light blue, purple dark blue, lime green, and red. And in this example of the dragonfly, it was made with a dark blue wire. So that is all for the supplies and we'll get started. So the first step you want to do is you want to take your wire and you want to measure out two pieces of 14 inch wire. So I have 12 inches here. Okay, right there, I'm going to use my wire cutters. I guess I do have it on. Okay, and now that I have one piece, I'm just going to use the other one to measure it out together. So I don't need to have a ruler for both things as long as I have one measured out. So I'm trying to pull it from the end here, just line up from the end. Over on this side, and I'm going to make a cut. Okay. okay. So here the wire wrapping part is going to start. So this overall, this is the body. And we're going to be making the tail piece of it now. So you see this long piece, that's the whole body. So what we're going to do is first fold these in half. And you want to give them as even as best you can. Now after you have it folded, you want to get this closely pressed together. And you can use one of the you can use one of the tools. And if you have tweezers, you can use tweezers too, okay? And I'm actually going to cross these because right now they're not really together, so I'm just going to make sure that they cross a little bit. Okay, so there's my body. Now this this is where we're going to do the wire wrapping uh, design. So you see right here, try to get this focus. Try to see if it could focus. So right in this section, we're going to start right here and we're going to wrap it six times around. And I have here one, two, three, four, five, six times. Overall, the tail, we're going to wrap it around to about four and a half inches. So I'm going to begin with that and show you how that's going to happen. Okay, so I'm taking, I'm just taking the roll like this and I'm going to just get really close in here and make sure I wrap both of these pieces together. I'm going to try to show this with my hands as best I can. This might be kind of tricky because you're just starting out. Okay. 
But what I'm doing, I'm really just turning more of the body and then having the wire just stay really still. I'm trying to do it this way, trying to get it as tight as I can. 0.4, 5, Further down a little bit, and six. Now, honestly, this is all up to your discretion how tight you want to make it, but I'm just getting as tight as I can. I'm going to use the pincher tool like I did with the other one and just kind of pinch it into place. Just the end. Make sure I get as close as I can to the other piece. Let me make sure it's tight. And that you can use with, uh, like I said, you can use a tweezers if you don't have the tools at home. Or if you want to check out a jewelry to toolkit, we do have four in the Tactical Collection. So I did here, I just did a little space. And now I'm just, once again, just pushing, really just turning the body while I kind of hold the wire as close as I can to the other wire and make it coil around it. You can do it five or six times. You can do a little more if you want to. So I think I have my tail done. Yep. So this is almost four and a half inches, which is where I want to be. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's close enough. Now we're going to make the wings, okay? So I'm going to take this wing, loop it around. Now you might, you, you'll have to use your thumb to hold it in place and then get the wing measurements right and I'm trying to see how you want to get the wings about two and a half inches so I'm a little short a little more wing and I'll get the same down here So it's a little closer to three, but that's fine. Now with my thumb still pressed, or with your thumb still pressed, you want to take this wire and you're going to wrap it around once just to keep the wings in place. And then you're going to do the second set, okay? So you kind of see what's going on right here? It's And then we're going to line up the second set is to be the same height or the same length, I should say, as the first set. Okay, so it's they're kind of held together, they're a little loose, but that's how they're going to look. And now we're going to take this wire, we're not going to leave any gaps, we're going to keep looping it. 
I'm still using my thumb to hold everything down. See, I'm the only gap I have here is just in between the wings, which is fine. Right now we're making the head part, so I'm just let's see it. One, two, three, so I got six spirals so far. I'm going to spiral up to it's about uh, an inch. So half an inch now, I'm going to keep going. Okay, I'm actually going to stop right here because I, I still want to leave some room for the eyes and the antennas. So this is three quarters of an inch. Now I'm going to loop over it and I'm going to go back three. So you see, I'm just making, this is going to be the head. I'm sorry, I'm going to go back five and then I'm going to go forward three. Okay, so I'm going to cut the piece right in here. See, I got my piece cut. Now I'm going to use my okay. Okay, so this is the dragonfly body so far. Now you want to get your wire out again, and you want to measure out three seven-inch pieces of wire. So let's measure out one. And then I'm going to use the one as a tool to measure out the rest. So this is seven inches. These are going to be the legs and ultimately the decorative portion to help hold the wings of the dragonfly. So what we want to do is take one of the pieces. I'm going to straighten out the wings a little bit. laying down is going to be a little easier to see this. Okay, so I have it underneath the body, right underneath that bottom wing. I'm going to crisscross. I'm also going to make sure these are lined up pretty straight. Crisscross them. And then pull. You want to make sure that this is really, really tight. Okay, so you're just going to pull them like this. Now you can use your tweezers for this just to make sure that they're pinched in place. So in reality they kind of hang like this. It's hard to see sideways. And hang like that. Do this again. I think it is easier just to lay it down just so you can pull them. Kind of like their shoelaces. This is going to go right underneath the, the first set of legs. Make sure they're even. Uh, if it's easier to see or harder to see, um, there's three sets. You have the three sets on either side. Okay, so with the, the last set that we did, we're going to take the last pair of legs, cross it over like this, and then wrap it around once. Okay, and then we're going to do the same with the other set, the other side. Wrap it around. Actually, I'm going to move this closer, a little down. And then get as close as the other one as I can. Okay. So you see it's like forming the first pair of legs. So if I'm going to push these back a little bit, you can see the first pair of legs happening. So with the second set of legs, which is these two here, I'm going to pull them down so you can see. 
these two here. Pull up. Wrap around like that, and that would be the other front leg. Same on this side, pull up. Wrap it around. Front leg. And this, these two are my last set here. Pull up. Wrap it around. Front leg. Okay. Try to push it closer. Now I got the last one. Over to the other side. Wrap it around. Front leg. Okay, so you see this is a decorative braiding. The camera is focusing. So you see this is a nice little decorative braiding side. It does pull, stick out a little bit. So if you want to pinch it close, but it actually is really tough. It's holding really well. Now I can move the wings and adjust them a little bit. So right here we have the four pieces that we originally started out with. I'm going to grab the two longest pieces. And these will be the eyes. So I'm going to grab the, the round nose pliers and I'm going to make a little loop. You can also try this out with um, tweezers. Possible will work. I want to get the little circle. Or you can even try really with your hands if you want. It might be kind of hard. It might, be, it might pinch you a little bit. Right. I'm trying to move this. I'm trying to make a spiral. And the spiral is going to be the eye. Okay, so like how this one has eyes, the spiral for the eye. Okay, so that's one eye done. Look on the other one. And press the heads, get the eyes done. And these are going to be the antenna. So I'm just going to just do a little decorative curl with them, not doing anything crazy. I'm just taking this up, curling it, kind of like starting how the eye looked. Okay. Now the legs are a little long, so I'm just going to reposition them, get them to how I want them to look. Just gonna trim off all the legs. So now you learn basic wire wrapping. So this is basic wire wrapping that you can make with um, our jewelry kits that we have in Tech to Go. Just be careful. Um, the wire is kind of sharp, so don't want to hurt your fingers. A lot of these edges are kind of sharp, but you can always take a piece of sandpaper and kind of rub them over. That's it. So this is how you make the wire dragonfly. And um, if you need any other assistance, contact me. And if you are someone that likes to do it in person, I can even go over this with you in person if you make an appointment. All right. Thanks for watching.